Hi and welcome to the 2022 WRC Safari Rally Updates with KCB for all the build-up and excitement with me, Eddie Kimani and Sean Carvillis for this extravaganza of an event set for the 23rd to the 26th of June. Now this man was one of the key elements for the safari returning to the WRC calendar. He is with the WRC promoter. Here's Simon Larkin. You know, I think the efforts of the, the whole team from from Safari Rally were, were excellent last year. To put on the first event in 20 years under those additional stresses and uh, complications of COVID, uh, I mean, it, it, the credit has to be given to the whole team there that the, the event ran extremely well. And one thing that we've, we've said to ourselves, the FIA, uh, and even some of the teams have said to the to the team there in uh, in Kenya is that this year should be a little bit more of a a foundation year. Last year went very well. Um, this year is a, an opportunity to to slightly improve on the little things that maybe are a little bit more difficult to to do last year. This is about a consolidation year. Let's run the best possible safari rally under the same sort of format as last year. And then for next year and beyond, then we will start to evolve the event and to grow it. Um, this is all about doing every single little thing better than last year. Indeed, what amazing insights from Simon Larkin, looking at the experience he had in the last safari and spending some time with him at the finish last year with a big smile on his face was a big endorsement that they made the right decision to bring back Safari Rally onto the WRC calendar. This has been the WRC Safari Rally Updates with KCB and Eddie Kimani. And I'm Sean Carter-Villas.